then uh, i spoke to uh, aishman and i it got done and rajiv rabi was one of the yes. i mean he was shooting some part of Second it you know unit. yeah yeah no initially he was supposed to be main unit but okay. then uh, his uh, mm. rates got this thing so he told me he heard the script he said hey, dulkar would have been so good for it. i said i asked him also <laughs> but uh, he uh, i mean he was not free then rajiv said oh i didn't know that then that night rajiv called me he was mm. back in case he said hey i just spoke to he will be free i said yeah i already signed somebody else so oh, i know a lot you don't know you have not seen as many movies as i mm. that should not be the idea the idea should be to do it with a lot of you know uh, love i mean you're doing it because you feel it's part of it it's not affecting the person who doesn't know it and but maybe the person may discover some other movie or something mm-hmm. through that you know so it is broadly in the same <laughs> genre of there is a crime there is a there is an attraction there is also a dead body in some corner <laughs> you will see in the posters uh, i just want to ask about a scene from badlapur the scene is almost i think 20 seconds long uh, uh, varun is in the lords in badlapur the guy asks his name and from where he is coming he says i am i'm from pune then he asks uh, how long are you planning to stay here he says it's 20 years and it's a bank yeah, from there yeah. the movie right shift now. to the next track uh, i just want to know what was your mindset or what was in your mind while writing that scene so i mean i can give a long explanation mm. but what was in the mind was actually for me while writing the script na i love these you know the the story has to the scenes have to transition to the next so the emotionally transition you know mm. and uh, it has to so what i had was the scene before that is in court uh, the judge says ki uh, this guy gets 20 Nine, years uh, in prison yes, yes. now so the whole judgment sort of i don't know how much of that in uh, is uh, people who remember but the whole judgment we don't hear but we just hear 20 20 20 mm. a lot you know yes. and after that this guy goes and goes to that lodge in badlapur and says 20 years so sort of you you know this man is not normal he's not nobody will say he'll say two <laughs> days four days or he'll not answer you know but 20 years means he's like i am i mean he's not normal and then we cut to a dialogue from a, i mean we cut to the jail, jail. where nawaz is sitting in jail and they are watching, watching tv, TV. and shole is going on <laughs> and in shole there's one there's one line which amjad khan says you know gabbar singh says ki 20 saal jail mein matlab you can't hold me in jail for 20 years <laughs> so i like this you know 20 20 20 kind of a thing you know <laughs> so that was probably the reason for that dialogue there you know so mm. uh, even your other movies also have this kind of reference from other movies even in jone ka the there is ice white shirt yeah yeah yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. <coughs> what's your thrill in using these references i mean sometimes they just creep in when i am usually when we are writing na they have two or three people i collaborate with you know so we discuss things like what if we do this will won't it be fun here and mm. somebody says some people say no it's too much then you remove it mm-hmm. sometimes it becomes too much also you know mm-hmm. and you look you are you shouldn't put references just because you are enjoying it and people mm. anybody watching the film may not have seen those movies or heard of those movies but mm. that should not af- affect their viewing experience mm. like basan is not here but when i saw the first cut of monica he had put so many references i said <laughs> the critics are going to chew you up please remove some of them you know so because it just looks like you know oh i know a lot you don't know you have not seen as many movies as i mm. that should not be the idea the idea should be to do it with a lot of you know uh, love i mean you're doing it because you feel it's part of it it's not affecting the person who doesn't know it and but maybe the person may discover some other movie or something mm-hmm. through that you know so uh, is merry christmas a shift to another genre from your side no it is it is broadly in the same <laughs> genre of there is a crime there is a there is an attraction there is also a dead body in some corner <laughs> you will see in the posters so it is actually it's a more like a relationship story mm. and my problem is what happened not problem my mm. thing was when badlapur happened na that was adult so there was not meant for children mm. and uh, it's a very intense kind of film you know mm. so it's not everybody's cup of tea like she you can't see that with your family and parents is <laughs> a you know friends or come is not that you rather mm. watch in a different manner so i said i have to break that and do something very mad mm. fun which andazun luckily i mean you must be knowing it's based on a french short yes. uh, mm. short film that's a 11 minute film mm. so that idea i liked so much that we expanded it and uh, we did that now andazun got a lot of you know i mean i know it's a it's like a little bit of a thing on your neck okay now people are going to expect that kind of a movie that's why i decided i will not do i should not do monica mm. because monica would come in the same, same category yes. of twists and turns kind of thing here i've tried to reduce that and uh, do something else within the same genre mm. but it's more i mean i would i would describe it like a love story actually but nobody will believe me <laughs>
uh, we have heard that you have you had a plan to launch Dulka Salman in Andhra. In Andhra, yeah, yeah. Actually, that was some misunderstanding that happened. Mm. What happened is. I wanted him because I had seen some film of his where he is also playing the piano. I said, yeah, this guy is very good and I asked whether he knows Hindi. I said, yeah, yeah of course he knows mm. Hindi and all. So, we tried to contact him. I couldn't get through directly to him. Mm. So, I told somebody to call and then I got back a reply saying that, uh, oh, he's not available for next, uh, whatever, seven, eight months. He's completely booked or one year, you know. So, I said, okay. Then after that, we don't know, you know. And, uh, then uh, I spoke to uh, Ayushman and I it got done and Rajiv Ravi was one of the yes. I mean he was shooting some part of Second it you know unit. yeah yeah no initially he was supposed to be main unit but okay. then uh, his uh, rates mm. got this thing so he told me he heard the script he said hey, Dulkar would have been so good for it I said I asked him also mm -hmm. but uh, he uh, I mean he was not free then Rajiv said oh I didn't know that then that night Rajiv called me he was mm. back in case. He said, hey, I just spoke to him. He said, he'll be free. I said, yeah, I already <laughs> signed somebody else. So, that was just a, inshallah, sometime it will happen. Yeah, even you have uh, collaborations with Malayalam cinematographers too. Sikha yeah, Murali yeah. Dharan and yeah, K.U. Murali Dharan, K.U. Mohan. Mm -hmm. Even now, this film is Madhu Neel Kandran. He's, he's shot, uh, he's shooting Lijo's film now. Mm. He shot Lijo's uh, Churundi. Ha, ha, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, that's also, I mean, that's not because they are Malayali, but because we are, uh, uh, you know, Film Institute, we have, I mean, uh, mm. sort of a whole lot of people from everywhere. No? So, these are my friends and very good uh, DOPs. Uh, usually, uh, most of the filmmakers, when they have a, a decent success rate, they would focus on uh, making films with the main stars of the industry. To be precise, uh, three Khans <coughs> from right, right, Hollywood. Right. Uh, you haven't made any films with them or we haven't seen any approach from your side for such movies or why is it so? No, I think for me, na, finally, it's the story which decides the actor, you know. Mm -hmm. So, it is not that, you know, okay, because this last film did well, so I will get a chance to work with a bigger star. Mm -hmm. For example, after Andadun, Shah Rukh Khan called me up and said, do you have something for me? Mm -hmm. But I wish I had something for <laughs> him. But the moment you start thinking, let me write something for him, you will start writing the same things he's done, you know. Mm. So, it has to come from the story, the, the casting has to come from the subject. I feel not the other way around. Mm. To make a film, keeping a star in mind is, some people do it of course, And uh, but for me, it is like the story that comes first, you know. Mm -hmm. So, and I don't, uh, I mean, I don't feel, if the story is right, like for example, I'm sorry, I'm talking about Merry Christmas in between, but now there what happened is like, I wanted to, I mean, one thing after a successful film, what happens is you can call anybody and say, I want to narrate something. They will, uh, mm. they will at least give you that, uh, that much mm. chance and all that. But, uh, so when I narrated uh, this film to some actors in, in, uh, mm. in Bombay, what happened is, uh, so some of them liked it. Some of them said, no, the girl's role is better. So, you know, all the usual things that happened. Mm. Then suddenly one day, that time the pandemic had begun and before that we had all kinds of thoughts and we were just sitting and I said, I actually need a very unique pairing, you know. So, that's why I thought, okay, what can be, I had met Vijay Sethupati by chance in a film festival mm. and I really enjoyed uh, interacting with him. Mm. I said, what if he is the guy and, and Katrina wanted to work with on a, something different. She wanted mm. to break her own, uh, the kind of film she was doing and do something which is... Uh, character and script and performance oriented kind of a thing, you know, otherwise there was, it's not like her other mm. movies where she's more for a Raja glamour kind mm. of a role, you know, here she's playing a character and there's two of them, the main characters. So, when Vijay and, Vijay and uh, Katrina, it is like, you don't know what is this combination, what are they doing mm -hmm. together, what is the story. So this curiosity I felt was more interesting than taking a pair which may be a hit pair or whatever, mm. but uh, to wait for them and all that, you know, so I just said, See, I make mostly little, uh, my films are not mass, mainstream kind of mm. thing. Sometimes some of them works very well. But, <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't mind. I enjoy this more actually. Mm. Uh, like, uh, with your movie's success, uh, the characters from the movies are also been discussed from the beginning. Uh, if you take Andadun, we can't imagine Andadun without Tabu. Uh, and uh, Badlapur, uh, Nawaz Siddiqui is right, yeah, kind yeah. of a pivotal character. So, how, like, how much value do you give for the performances in the movie? Oh, too, I mean, hell of a lot because I remember both the films you mentioned. Nawaz, when I was writing uh, Badlapur, I remember when you're writing, you think of a character in mind, mm. an actor in mind. 
So I thought maybe Nawaz kind of a person. So I should write his the character's name was Nawaz. Then of course when I gave to narrate to him or to give the script, mm. I removed replace all with some other name. You know, don't don't call it Nawaz. So but Tabu, I remember when I had this Andazun idea, my first thought was mm. I should I wanted to work with her. Mm. She is an actor I tremendously admire and uh, so I wanted to work with her and I felt this was a chance and I asked her and she sort of found it fun, you know. But it was still half baked that time. It was. I mean, we we finished the script much later, but mm. we had a sort of a sense of the large, broad story, mm. and she liked it. So Tabu and Nawaz both have. I mean, the actor's contribution is tremendous to a film. The script is here, mm. then it goes there, you know. So.